What's up boys, Callsign Grimy here. Welcome to another DCS video. This time we are inside of a user files mission called Operation Buzzkill. Let me go ahead and pull it up right here. Now, I will say that there's a really cool audio briefing that happens when you cold start, um, but we're here. We got through all the cold start and set up and all this stuff just for time's sake. So we'll take a look at the uh, mission briefing here and kind of run you through what's happening here. Our task is to destroy two structures we know were used to create some WMDs. Uh, we're going to refer to the briefings here. The, one of them is a tech combine. The other is a workshop. Um, now, our route is going to consist of two valleys separated by a mountain range. Now, steer points one through six are going to have valley one. Uh, steer points six through nine are going to be the mountain range. And then steer points nine through 12 is going to be valley number two. Now, steer point 12, we're going to pop up to 15,000 uh, altitude for air to ground map of 13. Target point 13. 13 is going to be two WMD facilities that we need to bomb. Steer points 14 through 15 are egress to friendly territory. And then finally, uh, point 16 is going to be RTB. Um, so what can we expect to face out here? Well, anticipate AAA and shorter range SAM sites like SA-8 OSAS, SA-15 tours uh, in both valleys. And at the target point just outside the valley are two several longer range SA-11s, SA-10 SAM, SAM sites. Uh, we don't want to overstay our welcome here. And if we leave the protection of the valley, we will we'll likely be met by many enemy fighters moving to intercept. So uh, we're going to have to stay low and fast. And that sounds really fun and challenging to me. So let's get in the air here. And uh, actually, let's take a look at our loadout here. This is the auto-generated loadout for the mission. Uh, we've got a TGP. We've got uh, some fuel tanks. We got Mark 84s, two of those guys. We have some sidewinders here. We've got some ARAMs, uh, ARAMs on the wings. And that's pretty much the loadout. Some fuel tanks there. Um, pretty straightforward. We could modify that if we wanted to, but uh, we're going to fly it as it was designed. So, with that being said, we're ready to go. We've uh, final check here. We've got everything in alignment. Let's get our radar on actually there there we go good thing i checked that part uh otherwise everything else looks good to go so we'll fire it up full thrust and there we go flaps are down so that's good and uh for me it seems like at about 180 miles per hour is uh where we generally can pull back and uh take off out of here We'll start pulling back. There it is. We're at that 180 markish. Wheels up. All right, we are in the valley. We just hit checkpoint one, and uh, and so it begins. Let's see what happens here. I have no clue much of anything, but uh, we've got our TSD on the left. It's going to help for me to uh, follow along for the waypoints and such. Right as low as possible here. Being detected. They know we're here. We're gonna do our best to kind of uh, pop sh uh, shaft and keep them off us, but it's gonna be a tight, tight run here been quiet so far probably gonna throw on afterburners here in a second to really rip us through gonna make this turn low altitude low altitude all right cutting it close here We are just hovering down. Low altitude. Low altitude. Oh, we're getting f small arms fire. I just saw a couple shots. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Low altitude. Oh my Low god. Altitude. Oh, that was that was close. Where was it? The Shunetus.
Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Oh, we just dodged that one. Let's go full throttle. Holy hell. Low altitude. Low altitude. We might escape that one. We might escape. Oh, my God. Holy hell, that was close. We are full afterburner. Getting small arms fire ripping at us. Wow. Talk about intense. Which way we gotta go? Which way we gotta go? I'm losing track of where I'm going here. Get down we're way too high. Wow. Alright, let's see where we're at. Here we got turn. Wow, 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 wow. Let's punch it again. Low altitude. Low altitude. This is pretty freaking intense. We're running kind of low on uh, chest of flares. Low altitude. Low altitude. All right. What's happening here? This isn't good. I can kind of see. Uh, we're going to run into. Yeah, this is not going to be good. I'm not gonna be able to see if we're if, if, if we're gonna get pushed up into the clouds is not good small arms fire we're just trying to burn through here oh, we're gonna climb up I have no clue through this and we'll we'll be in route we should be good it is so hard to tell and I don't want to run into anything here I'm a little I'm a little leery All right, we're taking small arms fire. We're coming up to waypoint 12, which it tells us to go up to 15,000, climb to 15,000. I don't know if this is gonna be a good or bad thing, but. Let's go ahead and flip over to T-Pod, air to ground, master off. traded no what took me out had it been uh enemy air did they scramble enemy air 
Oh, no. Oh. Heartbreaking. Let's find out what took us out. Yeah. They scrambled enemy air. All right, boys, I'm bringing you inside the mission editor here because what I will say is this mission was very challenging. It took me multiple times to get that far, and it was a lot of crashing into mountainsides where you can't see because of the low cloud coverage. Uh, there was uh, other issues of getting shot down in the valleys from some of the uh, anti-air elements that are in the valley. Now, the great thing is, is if you're having a tough time in here, you can come through and tweak out some of the enemy. Uh, what I did find is that by default, the way that they were designed, all of these uh, assets are on excellent skill level. You know, like they don't miss. It's almost like aimbotting. So if you're finding that to be too much of a challenge for you, you can drop it down to whatever kind of a difficulty uh, is, is right for your skill set. Save it and then fly the mission. Obviously, you want to have some level of challenge there. So, you know, it might you might not want to cheese it, but you can certainly lower it a difficulty or two so that it can work. And then you get to experience the flight. It was pretty tense start to finish really good. You can kind of see everything that's going on here. And again, you can tweak different things that's happening right here. Maybe perhaps uh, those scrambling enemy air <laughs> might be something to tone down because they were in there at no time and already launched a shot at me. So, but we were able to take out one of the facilities there. Check it out for yourselves. I'm linking it down below where you can find it on the DCS user files forum. Try it out and uh, let me know what you guys think about the mission. All right. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Call sign Grammy out.